big brother in the garage. Well, today I'm going to do a little cooking show. I know it's not a Jeep, and I know you're not as excited about watching this, but you know what? You may be like me. Your wife may be out working, or say she's out working. She may be shopping. I don't know where Jennifer's at. Anyway, um, one of my favorite meals that I love to eat is meatloaf, and Jennifer doesn't cook it that often, so I've had to take matters in my own hands. And one of the things that I realized is that it's really, really easy to make meatloaf. It's not that hard. So today I was going to show you just some quick and easy steps to make your own meatloaf. It takes about uh, like an hour, and you will be chowing down on some of the best meatloaf you've ever had. So let's get started. So to do meatloaf, it's really pretty easy. You just need a couple eggs. Uh, here's a secret thing is um, Lipton beefy onion or Lipton onion, either one. There's actually a recipe right on the back. So there's your recipe uh, when you get this. Now, when I do it, you need some ketchup, and you need some breadcrumbs. I'm using uh, roasted garlic breadcrumbs, but you can just use regular breadcrumbs, whatever you want to use. Okay? And I always make two batches, because if you're going to cook one pan, you might as well cook two. So I get four pounds of ground chuck, or uh, something that has a little bit less fat in it. Okay? If you're doing one recipe batch, you just need one 9 by 13 pan, like this one. All right? And we're going to go ahead and add our ground beef, your two pounds of ground beef, into that. Okay, so we have our two pounds of ground beef, right, already in the pan. And to that, you're going to add two eggs. You're going to add a third a cup of water. Two-thirds a cup of breadcrumbs. Half a cup of ketchup. And that's it. Now, now what I do is I just mix this nasty up. And you just kind of get your hands in there like you're cleaning a carburetor. And you just thoroughly mix that meat up with your breadcrumbs, your eggs, all that other goodness in here. And it is kind of gross, but it's going to be really, really good. And you add one envelope of Lipton beefy or onion soup mix, whichever one you prefer. I almost forgot. I'm going to mix that in there. And you just want to make sure that you get it mixed up really well, good consistent. Now that we've got that all done, just kind of flatten it out. And I'm going to put it in the oven for about an hour, and we're going to see how that comes out. So here's our new oven that I got delivered from Lowe's yet this morning. So I'm going to test her out with the, with the uh, meatloaf, which you're going to love. Now, I just go ahead and make two batches, because if I'm going to go ahead and do all the trouble of making one batch, I might as well make two. So you set up your oven at 350. And we're going to put them in there. Now just remember, you don't have to remember the recipe. It's going to be on the back of your Lipton onion mix. It's right here. Savory, no, superior meatloaf. Superior meatloaf. Uh, that's the meatloaf that I always bake. So there we go. We're going to stick them in here for an hour. All right. We'll be back in an hour to see what they look like. Wow, this smells really good. And there's our meatloaf bubbling away. Oh, it's good. Okay, and through the magic of video, the meatloaf is done. I'm going to pull it out. Oh, it smells so good. And there's my two batches of meatloaf right there, man. Those are freaking awesome. Okay, what do you think, baby? Perfect. Were you actually working today? Were you working? Oh, crap. We're going to have to have a talk. All right. It's beer time. Make a little bolt or lime. Pretty soon I'm going to be on a diet. I'm going to be working a little bit more, trying to burn off some of this fat that over the winter I've accumulated. But, the meatloaf is finished, and it is super, super good. I love it. I've got two batches made. I'll usually make up some instant mashed potatoes. 
My kids love this stuff. And some green beans. And you got your meal. And there was nothing easier than just mixing it up, putting it in the oven, and an hour later having meatloaf finished up. And let me tell you, this is way better than any meatloaf you can get frozen in the uh, grocery store. That stuff sucks compared to this. So that's it for today. Redneck Garage is cooking with gas. Actually, it's electricity. I'm David from Redneck Garage. Keep turning wrenches.